Hello students, I wanted to make you a quick video to give you some help writing your script. This might be the first time you've actually written one, so let me go ahead and show you first how to get it. Go to the bottom of week six, day one. That was week six, day one. And it says, after the storyboard, you will write an actual script for your video. It is possible we might not get to this until day two. So let's click on the script and get it open. And here you're going to see a Google Doc with uh, some parts of the script already prepared for you and a whole bunch of comments down the side. Now the comments are to help you learn how to do this if I'm not around, so please be sure to read the comments. For instance, if something is highlighted, that will expand a comment for you. You do not have to visit the link. I just put the links in my comments to give credit where I got the information. Okay, so let's go ahead. There's the title of your commercial. You and your teammate are the authors. Then you would list your characters. Now this is for the entire commercial, not just for one scene. You might only have one character. You might have seven. But put the most important first. Describe a little bit about them. Boy, girl, age, how they look. Just a few basic things and then describe the setting. Is this outdoors by the lake? Is this at the mall? Is this in the middle of a war zone? Write that here. Then the time would be time of day. Is it day? Is it night? Approximately. So that goes on your first page. On your next page you're ready to describe your first scene. Your first act and your first scene. Now let's talk about the difference between an act and a scene by expanding our comment. The act is the places in your story where you could stop or start without making the audience confused. Okay? A play would be divided acts into scenes so that there could be uh, costume changes or location changes. So you may or may not have different scenes and acts in your commercial, but you're certainly allowed to do so. The next thing you notice here is transition, okay? So every time a scene is opening or closing, you need some kind of transition. I imagine you've heard of those. Some people call them effects. Is that going to be a fade out or is it gonna just pop into the next scene with no transition to speak of? Um, will you be zooming in or zooming out? Will there be music coming? Uh, there's a few kinds of transitions. You can read those if you're interested in going further with that. Otherwise, I would just say use a simple fade. Okay, so a slug line. The one is to show that it's act one, scene one, and a slug line would have these elements. This stands for exterior, so you need to say are they inside or outside? Where are we in the scene? What time of day is it? A little description. Which of my characters are in this scene? So in this scene we have Abraham, Bashir, Jamshid, and it's telling us how they look and that they're all carrying big guns. Okay? Then you start writing your action. By the way, did you notice that this is all written in 12-point courier script? You can use Times New Roman if you can't find courier but that's the standard for writing scripts. So here we have um, what's happening in the scene. Covered in sweat, Abraham motions everyone to stop. It's graveyard quiet, says Abraham. Sato is a screen direction. So is to Bashir and to Jamshid. These little screen directions are called Riley's. You want to use as few as possible, just enough so that someone else could make the movie if you weren't around. The thing that is normally not in a script is punctuation for dialogue. You'll notice this doesn't have it yet. I put these two in here just for examples, okay? So you would need to go in and on all your dialogue, add the punctuation that should be there
so that you can prove you know how to type dialogue. By the way, if you didn't catch it, every time someone new speaks or the same someone is speaking to a different person, you must start on a new line. Okay, so here's one last bit of dialogue. Follow me and jam their sing signals. Abraham said to Najib. All right, then that's the end of this scene. It says they scatter and it's time to write the next scene. This again is the transition. More about transitions here if you want to know. And then you do the exact same thing again. Don't forget your slug line. Okay, that's enough to get you started. Of course, you can always ask me questions if you feel confused. The script will come after you've already planned everything with your Oreo outline, your storyboard, so it should come together pretty quickly. And I can't wait to see your videos.